The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Whoa! Come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Asshole. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey. Thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Paul. Jack. I just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protest's over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Holster that safety whistle. You made a long trip just to see a research project? Well, reading between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. <laughs> He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. <sighs> Welcome home. <sighs> Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I missed that van. I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> A perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. 
Enough joking. Come on, let's just get to the big show. <laughs> you haven't changed at all. What is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted, scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers, all with no evidence. It works, but they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Jack, you know asking for our help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. You're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother, but he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. I need you to push the lever over there, labeled chronon conduit. That'll activate the core. I'm going to run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. <laughs> That's just the Cronon conduit initiating. Sure, it's supposed to do that? The figures are all stable. What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit intense. A black hole? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. Just like old times, eh? Slightly illegal, moderately reckless. I'd raised some hell with Paul in the past. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. It's happening. We're really doing this, Jack. It's gonna be amazing. Here, take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. We need to turn the keys at the same time to activate. Security precautions. Ready? It's like we're launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke, right? One way to find out. Three, two, one. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The 
passing directors one end, travels around the loop, exits the other, and arrives at the predetermined time and the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. Password? Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for... You're actually going inside that thing? In the machine, through time. This is a fucking time machine. I'm going to be the first, Jack. And you're my witness. This is crazy, Paul. I and mean, this can't be safe. What happens when... Our team has already proved it works in the trial phase. It is ready. We've passed every test, every inspection. We're about to make history, Jack. All you have to do is hit that switch. Two minutes to the past. Remember this moment. Paul, <laughs> what? How? <laughs> it's fine. It's okay. Stay calm, Jack. Stay calm. There's. There's two of you. You just fucking multiplied. This is exactly what was supposed to happen. That's... He's... He's me. A future version of me from two minutes in the future. <laughs> Your evil future self. We did it. Fucking incredible. I mean, just... Imagine the implications. We could warn people about disasters before they disasters happen. Disasters before they happen. Cure Cures diseases, diseases before, before they, they spread. spread. I just had this conversation. <laughs> Still sounds a good second time. Jesus Christ. Now go into the machine. You need to complete the cycle. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Wait, Paul. What are you doing? It's all a big loop, Jack. I need to enter the machine and travel back to the moment I exited the machine in order to, well, be here. And what if you don't? There is no what if. I'm here, it's already happened. You saw it, Jack. We did it. Oh, that's impossible, that's, that's literally impossible. I mean, I can't even. There's no time to stop now. We need to test the other direction. Set the machine to five minutes to the future. What are you doing? Oh no. Jack. Will? You have to help me with this. We have to shut this thing down now. No, 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 no. Stop him! Shut up! Hold, hold on. The core. Hold on. We can't shut it down. Paul's still in there. Will. Shut up! Look shut at me. up! Look at me! Put the gun down and we can talk, okay? No, there's no time. You're not thinking straight. Put the gun down. Jesus Christ, Will. Time is going to end. Jack, you have to trust me. For what? No, I gotta let you out. You okay? I think so. I'll find a way out. Make sure Will's okay. Yeah. Okay. I could hear Will's words in my head. Time is going to end. What the hell? This is crazy. Will. Well...
what have we done? She warned me. I knew she was right. All this time. This could all have been avoided. We're too late. Jack, your hands. Gotta keep moving. No! That was the first time my power started to manifest. An out-of-control burst of energy that saved Will. Jack, your proximity to the pulse, it... It must have altered your relation to the chrono. Will, what I just did back there, what the hell is happening? That's what I'm telling you. Not in the right language. Explosion make time go bad. If time is an egg, then that egg is fucking broken. The time egg is fucked. What? Why is there an egg in this? There's a fracture in time. It's breaking down, leading to the end of time and door. Uh, what? Locked. They cut my security clearance. <laughs> uh, that didn't help. Stand back. I'll get it open. HQ, securing the server. Over. More of them. Hide. They're coming. In here. I warned Paul about this. About the calculations. I tried to make you listen to me. By shoving a gun in my face? Yes, a gun. The universal symbol for shut the fuck up and listen to me. Sound logic is always... Shh, shh. you... Hold up. We are on this side. Okay. We sure he didn't head back up to the lab? He could have gone back and tried to take the surface out of the This doesn't make any sense. How? How? Why Order are you even here? That's your biggest concern right now? Back up so we flush him out. <sighs> you don't know. Paul brought me here to clean up your mess. My mess? Do you even...
have no context for any of this, Jack. We weren't here. A lot happens in six years. This is bigger than us. Can't make it personal. They're trying to kill us, Will. It's pretty goddamn personal. Listen, getting you involved is the last thing I wanted. I mean, I'm sorry. Right. is only going to get worse. We have to stop this before it's too late. How? First, we have to get to my car. You're better at the door thing. Jack, that was... I know. This is way out of hand. I'd used a gun before. I'd been in a couple tough spots. Never had an army of pro gunmen chase me. Not good. This is not good. Time's acting up again. No surprise. We have to go. Raider team, have Jack and William Joyce been detained? Did you hear that? They know our names. They knew we'd be here. They must be after the machine. We can't go to your car. Monarch could be expecting that. We have to, Jack. It's important to fix the fracture. I... I need... We need to get to my car. Okay, just, just walk me through this, Will. Okay, time's broken. Fine. But now you're saying we can fix it? In theory, I built something for such an event years ago. But finding the countermeasure won't be easy. The countermeasure? What the... Okay. What happened? Maybe the door's still open. Let me try. Oh! Yeah! Will? Oh, crap. Frozen again. Somehow I could focus and unfreeze Will. Even if the world was still frozen. Stunner. She was right. About the fracture. About all of this. Where's your car? This way. Door. 
collapsed. For now. Oh no, no. My car. The patrol in the parking lot. Oh god, that's... it's... Okay. Okay, Will. Calm down, okay? I'll take care of this. I'll, I'll fight my way through. I'll get the car and I'll bring it around. Are you sure you can handle this? No. Are you sure you can fix time? No. Then we'll call it even. Here. You'll need the keys. Hey, Jack. Be careful. Yeah. Okay, I, I will. What the hell? My powers were growing. I started to sense things. Premonitions. Echoes from the past. Just got orders from Monarch Actual. They want us to find a car belonging to William Joyce while we're here. Got a plate number? It's coming. I could see an echo of the past. Will, arriving at the university. I hope to God I'm not too late. But that's... I'm seeing the past. Something clicked. I could reach out and stop time in a focused Get area. Help me. You don't know what you're doing. Well, fuck. I'm coming from where I left Will. I gotta get that. I swear to God. Change of plans. Screw the car. I need to get to Will. Where's my brother? They're taking him to the library. He might still be able to catch them. Why are you helping me? You're with them. It's more complicated than... Look, I don't know if you can make it, but you should hurry. That's the first time you saw Beth Wilder. Yeah, but definitely not the first time she saw me. Will. Will. This is Airlift Prime. We've got the Time Machine Corps in transit. Hey! Hands where I can see! What the hell is going on around here? Then we find Beth Wilder. Why? Who is she? She knows about the fracture. I trust her. Glad you trusted somebody. Jack! Paul? Jack, we gotta go. Hold on. What are you doing? Only what's necessary. Think about this. You don't know what's at stake. I know exactly what's at stake. That's why I'm here. 
You believe you can stop what's coming? I'm giving you one chance to change your mind. This path, it's already said it can't be changed. The past, the future, I've seen it. I've lived it. For 17 years. 17 years. It was you, the first experiment. Come with me and we can see this through. Or hold on to your hope and burn with it. Now listen, I built a device. I can stop this. I can. You can't. This is madness. There's no harm in trying. There is. That's why I can't risk you opposing me, Will. It doesn't have to end like this. We can't just let this happen. I'll never stop trying. It took me years to come to terms with what must be done. But we don't have years. Wait, wait, wait. <sighs> Trigger. I never wanted this. <gasps> My name is Paul Serene. I founded Monarch Solutions 17 years ago with a very clear purpose. There are those who would question my actions. I'm recording this as a final statement of vindication, a testimony of how things came to be. I've always been devoted to my mission. Never deterred from my goal, no matter the sacrifice. Because I've seen where this leads. I've seen where it all ends. We have a problem. No word from Jack Joyce's transport. It should have arrived here by now. We may have a traitor on the inside. You're due for your treatment. I'll find who's behind this. Find Jack. That's our priority. Get your best man on it. There's more. As you know, Jack's level of interference led to unexpected complications. Witnesses from the university were transported here. You need to take a look. We can't afford any further obstacles at this stage of the plan. Now, I see two options. We could use force, remove any loose ends. But if those witnesses disappear, the public will start asking questions, potentially turn on Monarch. Sir. Alternatively, I could mount a broad PR strategy, get the city on our side. But that leaves us with the... The loose ends. Precisely. The choice is yours, but keep in mind, the men will view your decision as a unified strategy moving forward. Sir. Who is this? Amy Ferrero. She's one of the witnesses. Awaiting your orders on how to proceed. My powers grew stronger, even as the Cronon Syndrome worsened. I could choose a path that would become the actual future, but it wasn't optional. The moment wouldn't end until I made up my mind. We're taking the hard line. Any potential threats to our plan need to be erased. Take her and the others to the Ground Zero operation. Make it quick. Painless. No! Wait!
Jack! There's no other way out. I'm going through the machine. Oh, wait. No! Jack! This way! Jack! I use my power to guide us. To decide how to best prepare for the inevitable end of time. That gives the chosen few a chance to survive. I've seen the end of time. Let's talk about the dry dock incident. Monarch operatives transported you from the university to the ground zero operation at the shipyard. Still upset about that, huh? You were secured, unconscious. Well, uh... <sighs> Liam Burke went to retrieve you, and you were gone. How? Sleepwalking. Step away, right now. You have three seconds till I pull. I have better reflexes. And you're a marksman. We know Beth Wilder assisted you in some manner. Then I'm guessing you know the rest. No, because everybody who saw what you did next is now dead. I didn't have a clue where I was or why. Never questioned it because it didn't feel real. I'm still waiting to wake up. I was starting to get a little antsy out there. All right, where are we going to next? Oh, hey, there's a map over here. We can figure out the best route to the dry docks. Hmm, security's tight. We might have to head through that area called Ground Zero to get there. That's the exact area where my brother used to have his workshop. Your bro. You think he's connected to this somehow? I'm gonna find out. You should stay here for now. I have a feeling the next part's gonna get messy. Yeah, I don't do messy. All right, I'll guide you to the dry docks from here on the radio. Channel three. I'll open up the door for you. Deal. Keep safe. Nick, I'm on the bridge. Oh, uh, map says you're heading towards a storage facility for, uh, Meyer Joyce particles and harvesting equipment. Joyce particles? This whole operation is based on my brother's research. Your bro? Y you don't think he's working for... No. I, I don't know what to think, but Paul is up to something big. See if you can find out more. Yeah, I'm on it. Hey, Jack, I found a bunch of files here by your bro. Monarch started monitoring his workshop in 1999. They pressured him to sell in 2010 and set up some chronon harvesting operations surrounding the building. What was Will doing in there? Those dates, 1999 and 2010, keep coming up in these files. Here is where it gets scary. 2010 minus 1999 equals 11. Times 11 by 2010, flip it backwards, 0, 1, 1, 2, 2. It's not exact, but it's like a couple numbers off from being our zip code. Uh-huh. Keep it both. <laughs> okay. Getting closer, I think. 
Now, which way's the dry dock? Okay. Okay, looks like the trailer has power now. Paul's men had taken the briefcase from Will's car, dumped the contents on the table. The Will had said he needed something from his briefcase to stop the fracture. Wasn't much there but his phone and a key to the Bradbury swimming pool. Not the most obvious clues. Jack, it's Beth. Monarch got footage of some idiot accessing Facebook from a nearby security station. Please tell me said idiot isn't with you. Nick, I gotta go back for him. Don't. I'll pick him up. Where are you? I'm on my way to Paul, the dry docks. It's the room, not the priority. I'm getting you out of there. I'll meet you at the dry docks. Channel 1 is the monarch frequency. Use it to keep ahead of them. And Jack, don't do anything stupid. Oh, thanks for the vote of confidence. stutters. He knew the fracture would occur. Prepared for it. Oh, shit. And he never tried to stop it. What the hell? What is this? What the hell? hell? What is what this? Is this? That already happened. What the fuck? <laughs> I specifically requested copper clad niobium. Well. There's no words to describe it. Will was gone, but he was all around me. This entire secret life he'd never talked about, everything he tried to protect me from, it surrounded me. A puzzle, trapped in broken time. We all thought he wasted his research grant, his career, obsessing over some failed experiment. That's what he led us to believe. What he built there, it never failed. It works. It works. Need my grant extended another year. Please, please don't do this. Don't do this. I knew something went horribly wrong there, but it was scrambled. It was impossible to crack.
was overwhelming. Every unanswered question I had was compounded by what I'd seen at that workshop. The events at the university were part of something much bigger. Something that had started 17 years ago. Okay, dry dock. Get to the dry dock. I'm almost there. Gotta get to Paul. <clears throat> There's something wrong with Paul. Cronon syndrome. He'd had his powers much longer than me. What was the cause? Was I sick as well, or was it his time travel? I didn't know. It didn't make anything he'd done any less hateful. Yeah. Jack, you have to understand that Will forced my hand. What the hell happened to you? There's no use fighting. You killed him! I'll explain when the time is right. You'll meet me tonight at the Monarch Gala. Gala? Time's ending and you're having a fucking party. Because when time ends, my plan... We do this now. I'm not meeting yes, you. Yes, you are. I've already seen it happen. Seen what? What's this all for? Goodbye, Jack. No! Sir. Shoot me. Look, I'm sorry, but I'm taking the band. That's for not listening to me back there. Ow. You want to stop time from breaking down? You need my help. And thanks, by the way, for the plus one in the back seat. I'm starting to feel like goddamn babysitter. She scares me, Jack. What led you to the swimming hall? Oh, Will said there was something important in his briefcase. All I found was a key with Bradbury Swimming Hall on the chain. Only lead we had. I guess this is it. What was your brother doing in this shithole? Perfect place to hide something you don't want found. I think it's time you tell me what you know. I know your brother built the one thing that can stop the fracture. I know we're meant to find it, and I know Monarch doesn't want us to. And yet you're wearing their uniform. I like the way their pants fit. I agree. Try to create a cover to gather information. You've known about this for a few hours. I've been preparing for it for most of my life. You weren't aware that William owned the place? There's a lot I didn't know about Will. We need to find your brother's countermeasure. And fast. Things will get worse as the fracture progresses. And Monarch will be turning Riverport over looking for you. Locked. 
Jack. That key you got from Will's briefcase. Key doesn't fit. Okay. I'm gonna find another way in. Make it quick. I'll keep a lookout for unwanted company. Any luck in there? Working on it. All right, let's take a look around. Down here. About time. This note, it's directed at me. July 4th, 2010. Yeah. Beth Wilder, I'm addressing this video to you. You told me to stay away from my workshop, but I couldn't just leave it there. I went back to get it, and the entire place is a disaster zone. The countermeasure, gone, taken. Oh, shit. What the? It's safe, empty. I just need to know you have it. Because if it falls into the wrong hands, its power is immeasurable. Our future, our entire lives depend on it. This can't all be for nothing. You know where to find me. Please, hurry. 2010. Holy shit. What was that? He recorded that for me in 2010? What the fuck? And he said the countermeasure's gone? It's not good. We need to figure this out. Let's keep looking. Help me push this out of the way. I need help moving this. <clears throat> Jack, your brother addressed that video to me. <clears throat> but I've never met him before in my life. Well, it sounded like he thought you had his countermeasure. I wish. But he said it was stolen on July 4th, 2010. Somebody took it. I'm hoping this place will help us figure out who. I'll give you the honor of pressing the button. Is that? Yeah, I think so. Second time machine. This changes everything. If we can get this thing working, then we don't need that countermeasure. We can change everything. What if we stop the fracture from ever happening in the first place? We can go back to yesterday, undo everything in the past before it happens. Nobody dies. Paul doesn't go through the machine. Monarch never exists. I mean, the fracture never occurs. Jack, wait. Let's think this through. That's not how it... I can go into the machine like Paul did at the university. I helped them set it up. Then we activate the core, put the corridor in place, and set the date. I can do it, Beth. I'm not so sure we can do this without the countermeasure. But you're right. We'll need the machine. Right. Let's start with the core. What? It says the time machine core needs to be reset. Great. What the hell does it look like? A round thing in the middle. Think. I can't activate the core till it's reset. Hey, it looks like I can reset the core from here. 
No clue. But I, I did help Paul set up the machine at the university. Which then caused the fracture. Look, Will knew the calculations were wrong. I'm hoping that means he knew what he was doing here. This is what Will is leading us to. We have to test it. The core. That's what we set up first. This could actually be the key to finding the countermeasure. We'll see. It's still resetting. The core is reset. We need to activate it from the control booth. I think the control doohickey's right here. Here goes nothing. Something's wrong with the machine. Well, we don't know that. You're not trained for this. Anything you do is gonna make it worse. We you can't know I'm right. Stop trying. You lost people. You're angry. I get it. But this is bigger than us. We can't fix the machine. But I might know somebody who can. Sophia Amaral. The monarch scientist. I saw her video near Ground Zero. Serene's head of Cronin Research. She'll be at the Monarch Gala tonight, but security's airtight. She'll be nearly impossible to get to. Unless I have an invite. Paul told me he expected me to meet him at that party. Something tells me that was not a friendly invitation. Jack, no. The future used to be so clear when I was reliving the past. Once I caught up to the moment I had left, that ended. All I've had to go on since then are the plan and the visions. I knew Jack would come to me. I'd seen that, but I didn't know why exactly or how it would end. There is. You were right. My visions of the future aren't always clear, but they don't lie. Speaking of lies, Joyce is saying he's discovered his brother's time machine. We've spent 17 years looking for it, and he finds it in less than a day? It does sound unlikely. Still, we know it's out there somewhere. We don't know what his brother managed to tell him. If he really has located the machine, why would he come here and tell you? Smart Money says he's trying to play you. Maybe, but the machine is out there. It's in our interest to find out where. And if Jack knows, I have to talk to him. Dr. Joyce could have provided the answer to that question. William's attitude and knowledge made him a liability. 
Is that angry young man going to cooperate any more than his brother did? You remember Jack as a close friend, but that clouds your judgment. Don't make this personal. It's not. But don't forget why we're here tonight. After what happened, our people need reassurance that we're in control. You're the man who can win them over. Let me handle Joyce, so you can concentrate on your speech. I know what's at stake here, Martin. Don't even twitch. And here you are. I had to see the lifestyles of the sick and traitorous up close and personal. And it was such a nice invitation. How do you want to deal with this, Paul? Up into the past. To change things. Answer me this question, Bob. I once trusted Jack more than anybody. It was my only chance to make him understand the truth. The fuck do you mean nobody got a look at the shooter? But without me there to give the speech, my empire would start to crumble like a house of cards. Martin, I'm afraid you're gonna have to cover for me at the speech tonight. All right. Jack and I have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah. I've seen where this leads. I've been to the end of time, and I've escaped it, all the way to 1999, when it all started. I've tried to change things, but by trying, I only made them happen in the first place. Security was tight at the Monarch Gala. You took quite a risk walking into the lion's den. If we were going to kidnap Dr. Amaral, then we needed to do it from the inside. Beth Wilder. You were quick to trust her. We had common interests. Is that all you had? It's all we needed. Well, I'm starting to think seeing a pretty lady like you is too much to hope for. Why don't you keep your mouth shut while we get some privacy before we begin? How about you get me out of this chair? Ah, uh, uh, uh. stop squirming. And you're gonna need this. Sure. What's it look like out there? They think you're secure. Everyone's concentrating on the party. So far, your crazy plan's working. And Dr. Emerald? I don't have a fix on her. She's either at the party or at her office at the R&D facility here on the island. I'll scout out the party. So you're gonna sip champagne while I break into a high security installation? It's like you got this all figured out. I'll save you a cocktail, weenie. Oh, well, in that case... My cover isn't gonna survive the night, but it'll last a little longer, so you can't walk out the front door with me. This is the quickest way to the R&D facility. I disabled the security at the back door, but there'll be guards. Contact me when you're clear. And Jack, you know what's at stake here. This can't be about revenge. I'm not here for Paul. He's escaping! 
will hurt in the morning. Hey, Beth, I'm clear. What's next? You'll see a radar tower up ahead soon. Let me know when you get inside. All right. I'm at the radar tower. Where's the lab? Below your feet. It's all top secret. The elevator inside will take you down. Oh, seriously? <laughs> what is this, a Bond villain layer? <laughs> you have no idea. Just don't fall into the shark tank. Fuck. Good evening. You weren't expecting somebody Speech this is streaming. Well. Let's give Monarch the audience. Unfortunately, Mr. Serene is preoccupied with as many duties necessary to ensure we maintain control over our path forward. Hey, Beth. I'm headed down into the labs. Okay. A bit of confusion here at the party. Serene's right-hand man's on stage. It was supposed to be Serene. Yeah. I think Paul was too busy trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart with me to make it. There looks like what Beth wanted. Oh shit. Emeralds at the party. The stutter won't last. I better find a way out of here and get to the party. Beth, I got that device for you, but Dr. Emeralds at the party. Yeah, I just spotted her. Wanna be my date? Yeah, save me that cocktail, Weenie. I'll make my way there. They say Hatch getting shot at was an insider job. I create a window for us, but Serene is looking for you. Remember what we said. I'll keep him occupied, but switch to the Monarch frequency to make sure you stay out of his crosshair. Beth, I've got company. I'll see you tomorrow. <sighs> Great. Should be here somewhere. Need to get to her before the stutter ends. A traitor fired shots during Mr. Hatch's speech. I assume this was Beth Wilder. We both know it wasn't. Hatch wanted to send Monarch into a state of disarray. Best way to avoid blame? Look like. Good for the next part anyway. 
Okay, Dr. Amaral's somewhere inside the mansion. Let's go grab her. Bit of luck, we can be gone before anybody notices. Okay, lead the way. What's our plan once we grab her? There's a boat dock right outside the mansion. Okay, we can make that work. time kicks back in and that drone turns us into paste. Let's get to it, Doctor. <laughs> 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 Valley parking. Beloved by... This thing growing inside me. I've been fighting it for six hard years. Dr. Amaral was developing a cure for the Cronon Syndrome. She was the only one who could administer the treatments that kept my sickness at bay. Paul? And Jack had taken her away from me. Martin, how is it possible he managed to take her? Paul, this is your illness talking. I'm on your side. Easy, you're... They took her. Without Sophia, there's no chance of a cure. We did all we could. But there are forces within Monarch working against you, and I believe Burke was just the tip of the iceberg. It wasn't just Joyce that did this. Uh, sir? Uh, we've recovered Dr. Amaral's laptop. We have it set up over there if you want to take a look. I'll be right there. I want to go over Sophia's figures. If she's right, the fracture is escalating a lot faster than we anticipated. You know the future. Dr. Emerald doesn't. 
Is the lifeboat even in a viable state for activation? She's trying to convince you the schedule's wrong. Why? To get you to rush this? To make a mistake? The people opposing you. She could be one of them. She isn't. Are you willing to bet the entire plan on that? I implore you, hold off on activation, Paul. Let me clean house before this gets completely out of hand. How do you want to proceed? Somebody was working against me. Somebody close. Martin Hatch. Sophia Amaral. I could only trust one of them. I want him in Brad. Immediately. So I have some information about Martin Hatch. Martin had been my closest advisor for years. I began to wonder if that had been a mistake. Sophia's loyal. She's always been loyal. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before. She knows what it does. Sophia's research had saved my life. Loyalty doesn't run any deeper. Sophia's data has always been good. I'll trust her judgment. We need to analyze these figures and make final preparations to activate the lifeboat protocol at once. Fine. I'll take the laptop to the science department. No, I think I'll do that myself. I see. Sir? Put people on Mr. Hatch. I want constant eyes on him. Yes, sir. You got it. We pulled some images from the security cameras. We've identified Joyce's accomplice. She's Beth Wilder, one of our mid-level operatives. Her. My God, she's been with us all along. She's working with Jack. Where is she now? Unknown. But we've got a kill team tracking her. No, 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 no. She can't be killed. Not yet. Find her. And whatever Mr. Hatch does, I want to know about it. Don't screw this up. Beth Wilder. It was the first time I'd heard her name. But she had been there in the past. When it all started. the whole time, working against me from the inside. And she wasn't the only one. You took the one thing Mr. Serene needed to survive, Dr. Amaral. That made you priority one. Yeah, they made that clear. Monarch lined every escape route with barricades, roadblocks. I had to get to the mainland, but I couldn't do it by car. Needed a new plan. All right, let's go. Beth, I think I'm gonna need a ride. The streets are too hot. All right, where do you want me? I'll let you know as soon as I find some higher ground and get a good look at the situation on the bridge. I think it might be a no-go. Gotta get to higher ground. I'm looking at the bridge right now. It's a lot of monarch. I don't know. Maybe you can sneak across? Well, maybe. Or I can pick you up. Let me know. Pretty exposed out here, so try to make it fast. I'll be a lot better when you get me on that boat. Monarch's right on my ass. I'm not exactly making friends out here. How's Dr. Amaral? Still kicking and screaming. How long do you need to get here? That depends. Let me check. Still there? Yeah, just looking for a viewpoint. We still have no visual on Joyce or Wilder. Doing another sweep. I can't see here long, Jack. You're gonna need to be quick. Yeah, 
about that. Bad news? It's a reoccurring theme of the night. I don't care. I'm looking at the bridge right now. I feel like Joyce across that bridge. It makes sense. It's getting tense out there. If I go anywhere near that thing, there's gonna be innocent people caught in the crossfire. All right. Any bright ideas? See, there's a pier under the bridge. You should be able to meet me there with the boat. Giant gas sign out front. Can't miss it. It's nice and bright for Monarch to see. There's not a lot of options. Switching to Monarch frequencies. Be in touch soon. Right, I'll be there in a few minutes. Don't stand me up. Okay, back and we're getting down there. More more Where's the fire pole? <laughs> you bastards. Change of plans, the pier's too hot. I'm almost there. Just wait two minutes. I'm not putting Dr. Amaral at risk. I'll make it across that bridge. Whatever it takes. We've got civvies trying to push through the line. You know your orders. Hard line. Any means necessary.
This is so bad. I knew I'd be dead if the stutter collapsed while I was in the frozen crash. I had to reach solid ground and the deck of the cargo ship was my best bet. Just had to find a way down. The route down wasn't exactly user friendly. The fracture was getting much worse. Timelines getting scrambled. Caught in violent loops, off sync. Crashing into each other. This was what the end of time would look like. Everything was broken. In chaos. Frozen. And no one would know. Come on, hold still. Come on, come on, come on. was escalating. Objects were moving out of time, out of order, entire timelines overlapping. And it was going to get worse, unless we could stop it. You don't understand the power you're wielding. You need to hand this technology over to Monarch. I've prepared for what happens next. You say you're prepared, but no part of this plan of yours involves stopping it from happening. Even if I fix William's machine, what could you possibly hope to achieve? The end of time is coming. There's no way to- Hey! This isn't a debate. I just watched a ship fast forward through a fucking bridge. Time is running out. And the fracture's getting worse by the minute. And it cannot be stopped. Paul has been to the end of time. He's witnessed it firsthand. Can't you see? We prepared for what's next out of necessity. Your research is based on work by William Joyce. You respected him. He knew that the fracture would occur, but he also knew that it could be fixed. Will built a way to stop the fracture. This. The countermeasure. We're traveling to the past to retrieve it. You can help us get there faster. Or you can agree to disagree. I'll have to run diagnostics on the machine. I can't promise anything before that. Nick, take Amaral to the machine. Keep an eye on her. You got it. Welcome to the team, Doc. Don't make me shoot you. Jack, before we head downstairs, we have to talk about something. Okay, what's up? It's about the plan. If Amaral gets the machine working... We go back to yesterday and undo all of this. Listen, in the video Will left for me, he said the countermeasure was stolen from his workshop on July 4th, 2010. He also said, I took it. Maybe I did, Jack. We have a time machine. You're saying we go to 2010. We steal it. If Will was right, that would mean it wouldn't be a change. We take the countermeasure, bring it to the present, fix the fracture, save the world. Okay. Explain to me why that's a better plan than just going back to yesterday and preventing all this from happening in the first place. Because I'm afraid that based on what I know about time travel, we can't change anything. The past has already happened. We can't change it. But my way, we don't have to. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, my plan still feels simpler. Let's just get the machine working. Let's see how Dr. Amaral's doing with the time machine. Yeah. I don't think we can trust her. The way she looked at the countermeasure like she's seen it before, 
She knows what it does. You think Will told her about it? No. Will was never the kind to open up. I can relate. Will takes it to the next level. When we were kids, the only way that Will could express anything important to me was by informing my stuffed giraffe when I was in the room. It's precious. And weird. Did she find anything? I'm not sure. I'll go check. How's it look? The problem is quite simple, really. The power relay is down. You'll need to find a way to reset it up. There, where the light is. I'll lower the ladder for you. What happened to the power relay? Power surge occurred at 7 a.m. this morning, and the machine was activated. 7 a.m.? That's hours before we even got here. Well, the numbers don't lie. Okay. The console here's got two red lights, one green one. You'll have to reset the power to the two stations with the red lights before activating the relay. Both stations are located above the machine. Just follow the cables to the red lights. Above the machine. Perfect place for a reset switch, Will. been here before. That woman in the picture is you, isn't it? So... Jack, there's something you should know. 1999. I was eight years old, playing in my backyard, and a woman approached me, told me she was from the future. She gave me very specific details of events that would come to pass. She gave me this, filled with Dates, events, proof of it all. Jack, that woman. It was you. Everything I told myself would happen, did. Every detail, for better or worse, came to pass and couldn't be changed. Our fate is laid out before us, Jack. Everything that happened to get us here, every sacrifice that was made, they're all a part of this path. And they can't be changed or undone. Beth. When we step in that time machine, you will see for yourself. All right. If you're that sure about how all this works, we can try it your way. Why the hell would your brother put maintenance controls way up there? That's it. Don't expect to. Okay, the first red light is now green. green. Set the data into the console.
July 4th, 2010. Are you ready? No. Are you? This is it. There's no turning back. Hey, wait, wait! What did you do? That was the wrong door. You changed the date. Where is she? Where is she? I had no choice. I couldn't let you take the countermeasure. It would put our entire plan at risk. I already called Monarch from the terminal. They're on their way. It's over. Fuck! We need the countermeasure to run the lifeboat. I'm gonna follow through with the plan, tie her up and get as far away from here as you can. Yeah, I've got this. Don't worry. Your first journey back in time, 2010. This is where our notes get hazy. You know how it ended. Your goal when you arrived was to retrieve the countermeasure. But my goal had to wait, because I wasn't alone. Someone's in here. It's locked. I gotta check out that gunfire before I go anywhere else. Who the hell is that? The fuck are they shooting at? Dr. Emeril sent me to the future. I fought for months trying to find a way to get back. I wasn't the only one.
He set William's machine to 1999. The first possible exit point. Don't shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! Hey, don't hey, shoot! It's okay! Hey, it's okay! Ah. It's okay! I'm on your side. Who are you? I'm Beth Wilder. There's some things you need to know. You're the reason you built the countermeasure. And you've been here ever since. Eleven years. Why? Why didn't you come back? We should get ready. We don't have much time. She had changed. And there was a weight in her eyes. She was hiding something. She always was. I'll unlock the door. So where's Will? Where's the countermeasure? The countermeasure's at William's workshop. Where he built it. Then that's where we go. Uh, yes. That was the plan. have to unlock this. My supplies are upstairs. We'll need to get them. There's so much you don't know that you never saw. I... I gave up on the idea that she would ever come. I need to know we're still in this together. I told you once our fate is already laid out for us. I still believe that. More than ever. I'm just worried what that might mean. It means we finish this. You need gear? Take whatever you need. The rest of it's going in the river, along with everything else I brought here. That's a little drastic. My time here is done, Jack. I have to erase my presence. Let me know when you're ready to go. I can't imagine what happened to you. When you entered that machine, I wanted to go after you, but... I didn't know where Sophia sent you or how to find you. You made it here. It's all that matters. You followed the plan. Whatever happened to you, we'll change it. Don't. We can fix this. Don't. We can undo this. Oh, you still don't get it. <laughs> it can't be changed. No matter what we do, the pieces fall in all of the exact same places. I've tried. Over. And over. I can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to let go. Jack. You have to let go. I've seen it. The end of time. That is where she sent me. I was there. I've been fighting this fight my entire life, and I saw us fail. I saw where this leads. I just don't know anymore. I don't know if we can win this thing. Then we'll die finding out.
I don't know a fraction of the hell that Beth went through. What she experienced when she saw the end of time, how that changed her, like it changed Paul. Followed by 11 years of living like a ghost. Beth I'd known had laser focus. This Beth. She had doubts. You okay? Yeah. <sighs> but the countermeasure. The one thing that could set things right was waiting for us at Will's workshop. In 2010, Monarch didn't own the area yet. That came shortly after because of what happened with you. But we knew William was building something new in his workshop, and we knew it must be important. We were monitoring the place. Yeah, Beth knew about your presence. She'd done spying on her own. We came over the rooftops to avoid detection. Does Will know we're coming? No, he doesn't. From this point on, we may be in their sights. We need to be quick. Hey, Will? He's not here. I made sure of that. What? Why? He's the only one that knows how to use the countermeasure. Which is why he needs to be kept safe. In case... things go bad. Fine. We get the device, then you lead me to my brother. Sure. Now, where do we find this thing? Will said he secured it inside a safe. Somewhere in the building. All right, Will. Where'd you hide that safe? He didn't leave the code. But I can crack it. I just need some time to... Somebody's here. It's Monarch. I knew it. I knew they'd find us. I'll take care of it. Just get that safe open, stay inside. Yeah. Okay. You'd been spotted the moment you arrived. You never had a chance. You were on a suicide mission. Yeah. I wasn't gonna lie down and just give up without a fight. Not then, not ever. This is Trojan 1, approaching workshop perimeter. Over. Remember, orders are to take her alive. Monarch Actual's en route. Roger. Stop right there! Where's the girl? Hey, 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 hold on. Take it easy. See? He's got a gun! Open fire! <laughs> what the fuck was that? Shoot him! Give me the device. Come with me. We can survive this together. You know it can't be stopped. I can see it in your eyes. You know this. What if you're wrong? created ground zero. 
caused everything to happen how it always did. Every piece falling into place. Except one. The blast sent you through time, brought you back to 2016. The same exact time from which you left. Something anchored you there. We need to know how you did this. You think I wanted to come back? I was pulled away. Everything I came for was still back there. Left behind. Serene had the countermeasure the whole time. I had to get it back. A rash decision. You claim Beth Wilder's death had no impact on your behavior, but... Like I said, I barely knew her. So, what you did next? It wasn't personal? No. I don't have much time left, I know. I spent 17 years working it out, planning it, building Monarch, because I knew what was coming, and I knew it couldn't be stopped. But what I've built has been turned against me. What is the point in saving them if I can't trust them? <sighs> I'm slipping away into pain and rage. The sickness is accelerating. The CFR. It has cost me so much. But I have harnessed its power. And with it, my plan will work. With it, I will keep the lights on when the world goes dark. Mr. Serene, sorry to disturb you, sir, but I have that cleanup report on Dr. Kim's lab you wanted. Meet me in my office, soldier. I'll be there when I've sealed the CFR chamber. The lab explosion, my treatments, all gone. First things first, seal the chamber. The CFR has been secured. Uh, Mr. Serene, I'm in your office. I'll be right there. Serene, out. This soldier doesn't know how close to the end I am. I'm not afraid of death. 
I'm afraid of becoming the enemy. What that would mean for me, for the plan. I can feel it infesting my thoughts. Ah. I don't know who to trust anymore. Martin Hatch. He used me all these years. How deep does this betrayal run? How many more are there? They, they wanted the lifeboat to fail. Why? What's their agenda? Sir? Be right with you, son. Report. Sir, you ordered us to search the demolished lab. Your treatments were destroyed, but there was one left. The casing appears to be broken, but uh, it's all we could find. Damaged. Is it safe to use? Uh, sir? I didn't catch that. Or is it a trap? Another betrayal. The treatment will make me weak. Is that what they want? Can any of them be trusted? You have all betrayed me. Assured my downfall. And now, I will assure yours. My world will be renewed. My world will see balance. Chaos. It's falling apart. They're working against me. They're fighting each other. You need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right. Joyce fixes the fracture. He fixes the world. No more happen. Charlie Wincott, another weakling, a traitor siding with Jack. I can make them suffer, all of them. Sir, are, are you all right? Who put you up to this, sir? You ordered us to go through Dr. Kim's lab. Find what we can- Who are you working for? You, sir! Liar! What the fuck?! Time was broken, working out of sync. The city was in a state of chaos. The end of time was closing in. And you still believed you could fix it? The solution was inside Monarch Tower, a countermeasure. The CFR, as Monarch knew it. The key to the lifeboat protocol, Monarch's survival plan. But that didn't seem to matter to you. I had a better plan. Joyce, you hear me? Charlie. You're here for the CFR, right? The countermeasure. Well, you're kind of lucky because Serene's left the building. We're in lockdown, but the good news is I know this system like the back of my hand. I can open doors for you. All of them. Cute. You'll need to get to Serene's office. He's got direct access to the CFR. All right? Monarch was scrambling. 
Paul's empire was falling apart all around me. I'd never seen anything like it. But Paul had. That's what he was preparing for all those years. He didn't do a very good job. What was that thing? The train. All personnel, stay clear of the lower levels. There's a possible hazard. Repeat, stay clear of the lower levels. There appears to be a train crashed into the building. The situation is under control. All personnel should remain in secure areas. There are intruders in the building. Repeat, remain in secured areas. Hey, Charlie. I got another locked door here. Not bad, Joyce. That's Serene's office. Let me just unlock that bad boy for you. Serene's got access to the CFR chamber from his office. I'll meet you there. Ah, there. My office alarm went off. Is that you skulking around, Jack? Fuck you. I'm done playing games. I'm here for what you stole. Yes, of course. The CFR. If you understood just how much depended on that, you'd leave it alone. But I know you don't care. You're right. I don't. And it looks like you're not here to stop me. Yes. Yes, everything will play out as it has to play out. I'll see you very soon, Jack. I'm done dancing your tune, you crazy bastard. Joyce, thank God. Shit, that could have been real bad. You're Charlie. Yeah, yeah. Let me get this door open. There you go, Joyce. Here's hoping you know what the fuck you're doing. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. There it is. CFR, countermeasure, whatever it's called. Help yourself, Joyce. It took 11 years for Will to build the countermeasure. Beth died for it, and I knew it could fix the fracture. This fucking thing. Problem was, I didn't have a clue how to use it. The only person who did 
was dead. But Monarch had a way of getting to him before that ever happened. The university time machine. We've got the core here. Can we go or what? I need to get to the chamber above. No problem. Got a way up right here. Thanks for the help. No biggie. Make it count. Yeah. You're not coming? No, I gotta get back down. Someone I really want to get back to. Good luck, Joyce. Yeah. Hey, why are you going up there anyways? Short version? I gotta go back in time and save my brother. <laughs> You're gonna go back in time, yeah, right. Whatever. You don't have to tell me, I guess. Paul took the core of the time machine from the university, hooked it up to his own machine. It was part of his sick desire for control, but that gave me one last shot at fixing things. I could go back, maybe get to Will before Paul killed him. And if I could get the countermeasure in Will's hands, maybe I could still turn everything around. The core was set, the machine was prepped. I had to put the corridor in place. Okay, this should do it. Deploying the corridor. Phase one underway. Please clear all personnel from the as we speak. Keep me posted. The whole sniper unit's wiped. No way he did that on his own. We need to find out who's unaccounted for. This might be an inside job. Let's start a list of who's missing.
Jack, you saved me. Welcome back. Hey, Will. Here's a present. Uh, countermeasure. How? Oh, Jack. Will! Come on! Come on, let's go. Ah. Monarch had it the whole time. Does it work? Came back from the future. For me. Fracture wasn't fixed. Not yet. Does it work? In theory, yes. We gotta get back to my time machine. We gotta get us back to the time where you came from. No, future. No, 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 no. It's the only way. We need to stop the fracture here, in this time. Now. Oh, Jack, listen to me. The fracture wasn't fixed in the time where you came from. So fixing it here, it's always gonna fail. People are going to die, Will. You haven't seen what happens between now and then. No, but you have. What you have done has set in motion a chain of events that cannot be broken. Look, we don't know. And if it could be broken, it could jeopardize the entire world. If we get one shot at this, it's too much at stake, Jack. Look, I know the stakes, okay? Then you gotta let go, Jack. Everything you have done to get to this place is necessary. Trust me. The past is set. The future is. This way. If what you said is true, then how did I save you? I saw you die, Will. Think, Jack. You never physically saw me die, did you? <clears throat> I watched a roof collapse on top of you. Creating the illusion of my death, yes. Which brought you here to make sure it remained only an illusion. It's all a loop. If time is an egg, then... No egg metaphors. Over here. Goddamn bloodbath in there. I need some air. Cleaners better get here quick. Wait, wait for them to leave. Now, I know it's a lot to take in, but the fact that you managed to save me and yet still maintain the illusion of my death is actually further proof of my point. Risk the past out. remains intact. Stick to the plan. Nothing changes, so and the Novikov self consistency principle prevails. Oh, great. We can high five about that later. Right. Let's save the world first. Come on. Let's meet up with the convoy. Okay, they're gone. Let's go. I'm surprised you actually waited. It's almost like you're listening to me. Well, the last time I didn't listen to you, the fracture occurred. Consider me open to following orders. Huh. That doesn't sound like my brother. I know. All right, through here. We Nick. can't risk helping them. I know what happens if I don't. And it'll still happen, Jack. I meant what I said back there. And there are no exceptions. If you get suckered into trying to change what can't be changed, it may cost us everything. Please, Jack. Our future depends on this. You said Monarch had the countermeasure this whole time. How? Why? Paul was using it to fuel some kind of messed up survival program. Uh -huh. They must have somehow repurposed it as a localized chronon field regulator. Dr. Emeril and Dr. Kim both took positions at Monarch. Now I think I understand why. I always assumed it was Beth Wilder who had the countermeasure, keeping it safe. She was the one who warned me, told me to build it. I know. You met her. Is she helping us? She was. Ah. I see. Come on. This place isn't safe. Oh shit, watch out. Well, hey. Go this way now.
Look, I know I've kept you in the dark. But when I started my work, you were so young, and afterwards, I always hoped it would all pass you by without touching you. Yeah, I get it. Come on, let's just go to the future and fix this mess. There, it's locked. You hid the machine here. You really never used it yourself? No, I didn't dare. Not after the men came out. It was Paul. He tried to kill me. <clears throat> Damn. Rusted shut. Jack, a hand? <clears throat> One more time. When Monarch came for the time machine at the university, Paul was trapped in it. He escaped into the future. Whatever happened to him there changed him. Somehow he found my machine there and used it to come back to 1999. And found in Monarch. He escaped from Monarch and became what he escaped from. Insanity. I never should have built the machine. I should have left well enough alone. Just the way I left it. Hope it still works. Yeah. All right, we'll go to the future. A little after your time of departure, before the fracture has stopped time permanently. I don't know, I'm a, I'm a little concerned about this. It'll be dangerous. Of course it'll be dangerous. At this point, what isn't? But I have been curious to try this. a little past the point you were at when you left to save me. That's our window, when we know it can work, but before time actually ends for good. It may not be much of a window. Monarch was sure it was imminent. Huh. Like they're experts. They kind of are. All they know they stole from me. You worry about your end, I'll worry about mine. All right, well, that works. This is amazing. All those years. I never imagined that it would be like <sighs> Crap. Forget Will, Jack. However he came to be here, he's done. It's over. What's going on, Paul? You look fucked up. Even by your fucked up standards. <sighs> you took the CFR, Jack. I took it back. I don't care how messed up you are, Paul. You're not taking it from me. I don't want it! I just want it gone. Forever. Gone? What about your survival plan? Fuck the lifeboat, Jack! We're just gonna let the clock run out on this and be done with it.
Jack. What? Never mind. Tell me later. We got work to do. I'll have to hook up the countermeasure to the core. It's designed to hypersaturate the Maya Joyce field with proton particles. A time machine is like an amplifier. That'll cause a chain reaction and rejuvenate the field. It'll be a universal event. I'll take your word for it. Just make it happen. Jack, give me a hand with this. What do you need? The countermeasure's charge is low. We'll need a jolt of chronon particles. A jump start. That's you. Countermeasure. It stitched time back together everywhere. <coughs> the destruction couldn't be undone. The lies we lost were real. But we fixed it. Jack. <sighs> Will. Clocks kept on ticking. Come on. Come on. <sighs> I think we just saved the universe. Yeah. Where's Paul? He's dead. He's gone. I don't know. It doesn't matter. Will, he was wrong about everything. Was he? Will. The countermeasure worked. Whoa. The countermeasure burned out. Should be stable now. Of course, I'll have to run a few tests to confirm. But this, well, there's no reason to believe that the fracture isn't over. One more question. Paul Serene's entire philosophy was that time is a set path, and nothing can be changed. At the time, you obviously disagreed. But after everything you've seen and done, we need to know. What do you believe now? Was he right? Or is it possible to change things? I'll come back for you. You've been very patient with us, and very helpful. Thank you. Yeah, well that patience is starting to wear pretty thin. Of course. Right outside. Mr. Joyce. Finally. Thought you wanted to talk, not get my life story. Well, you were at the heart of all of this. And you can understand our need to find out exactly what happened. I heard it's all being pinned on Paul. It's quite the feat. Paul Serene always danced to his own tune, you know that. He and his delusions did tremendous damage to Monarch. But we can still salvage this company. We could use a man like you. It's not the same monarch you know, Mr. Joyce. 
Your exceptional qualities are obvious, and we both know you have certain needs our expertise could help with. We can help each other.